Julian Kazoo's height and his cultural background distinguished him from the crowd very early on. His Lebanese father died when he was just eight years old. I've seen photos of my dad with like the big V-neck shirts with the ch puffy chest hair and all that kind of stuff. And after starting out with the West Sydney Razorbacks, a three-year playing stint in Lebanon followed. It proved to be a life-changing experience. So they organised a big day trip for us. They took us up there. They showed us uh, the town that my father was brought up in with his mother. Julian's wife has been with him every step of his globe-trotting journey. All the fans and stuff, they all speak a different language, so you're kind of sitting on your own. So it was really good in Lebanon that I was able to make you know, my own friends and kind of have my own life as well, aside from you know, just being there for Jules. And his talent has been recognised at the very highest level. Kazoo receiving a call from Australia's national coach following Andrew Bogut's recent knee injury in the NBA finals. It was an offer he was forced to turn down after suffering the same complaint. Andre Lamanis gave me a phone call and invited me into camp. I had to just say to him, I'm, I'm unable, I'm not available and it was pretty gut-wrenching. He has one more year left on his Sydney Kings contract. The opportunity to reconnect with his cultural roots, helping him acknowledge where he's come from. But I consider myself Lebanese now, so Lebanese Australian and the Lebanese community in Australia has definitely taken me under their wing. And where he's going, as he chases his long-term goal of one day competing at the Olympics with the Boomers. John Baldock, SBS World News.